Alrighty, so this weekend you have UFC 258 where Kamaru Usman is going to be facing off against Gilbert Burns. And honestly, I don't feel like this card has really been getting much love. There hasn't been much media attention or anything really coming on it except for like your main MMA outlets. And I really kind of believe this is just because UFC 257 happened like, what, two weeks ago? Which is kind of weird that we're having this fast of a turnover between pay-per-views, which is fine by me. But really haven't looked much at the prelims, but I do know the main card's pretty stacked. You have like Jimmy Rivera fighting, uh, Kelvin Gastelum, Pedro Munoz, Macy Barber, and obviously the main event's quality main event, Kamaru Usman and Gilbert Burns. And when you look at the matchup in the main event, um, honestly, I think this is a really tough fight. I think it's a really close fight to call. And honestly, I really don't think bookmakers are giving uh, Burns much respect. I've been following this fight pretty closely ever since it was supposed to happen. And actually last summer back in July before that uh, fell through when Burns got COVID and I really honestly think this is a really close fight um, especially the storyline and everything when you look at like what's happening you know these two used to be teammates they used to train at Hard Knocks 365 and uh, back when Usman won the belt back in December of 2019 uh, I don't even think Burns was ranked in the UFC welterweight division at that time and since then since Kamaru's been champion Burns has literally went from being unranked to like number 12 all the way up to the number one contender and sat at the number one contender spot for at least like I'd probably say six or so months and the whole the whole reason I brought that up is because for this fight, Usman switch camps actually went over to the uh, Elevation Fight Team in Denver, Colorado, and I'm a big fan of that team. They have a great coach, Trevor Whitman. And when you're breaking down this fight and you're looking at this fight, the fact that Usman left and went somewhere else shows me that maybe when these two would face off, Burns and Usman would face off in the gym when they would spar, maybe Burns would get the better of the two because the whole time when Kamara was champion when he first started, Burns was unranked, so he wasn't really worried you know, about him contending for the title, so he didn't really leave. And the closer he got, and eventually once he challenged for the title is when he leaves and goes somewhere else because maybe he's whatever he was missing, whatever Burns was beating him with, is what he's gonna go try to find at Elevation Fight Team or somewhere else because maybe whatever he was learning at uh, Hard Knocks 365 just wasn't working and he had to go somewhere else to get something that he just didn't have. That's pure speculation. This is all, you know, things that don't really have a whole lot to do with fighting. I really want to look at, you know, the actual matchup stylistically and uh, an actual breakdown of the two fighters and their skill set. So when you're comparing these two fighters, you have Usman, who's a wrestler, has solid wrestling, has a very, very pressure heavy wrestling game, which pretty much the whole entire fight is trying to get you to the ground just so he can beat the snot out of you. And then you have someone like Burns, who is a jujitsu guy who doesn't really, you know, constantly try to take you down. He can stand and bang with you. Um, but if the fight goes to the ground, you're pretty much SOL. Which makes it very interesting because Usman always wants to take all of his opponents down, and that's exactly where someone like Burns wants to be, especially because Gilbert Burns is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion, and he is incredibly dangerous on the ground, which makes it incredibly dangerous for someone like Usman to take him to the ground. If we're talking about uh, the two fighters striking, I think when you look at overall striking, who has a more well-rounded striking skill set, I would probably say Usman, just because I've watched more of Usman's fights and I've really seen, you know, he has really solid kickboxing, he has good one-twos, um, throws good body kicks and he's very technical he's very sharp and for someone who has as solid of grappling as Usman has his striking is definitely well above average for someone with that style now if you look at someone like Burns I did say that Usman has the more well well rounded striking I would most definitely say that Burns has the more dangerous striking and by dangerous I think that Burns is a little bit more faster and a little bit more powerful you saw that in the Woodley fight you saw that in the Maya fight in that fight against Maya was kind of sitting there just pulling his hand out kind of just judging range I don't know just kind of get a feel for what's going on and uh, every time he did that, he only did it like two times because before that they were in scrambles. They kept ending up on the ground, getting back up and on the ground, get back up. And they were finally on the feet. They were kind of in the center of the octagon. And Maya's, you know, pulling at him with that lead hand, just trying to dictate range. I don't know, maybe try to set him up for something else. And the second or third time that he did it, Burn just wrapped around the top. He timed it. He figured out when he was going to come in and timed it, went over the top with it, just like a really fast check hook, completely dropped him. And he whips that thing up really fast. If you watch it in slow motion, when Maya puts his arm out, Burns' is, his hand is underneath Maya's arm. He whips it up so fast and comes over the top with that lead hook. Maya literally had no idea it was coming. So I really think if this fight were to stay standing, I think that Usman really just has to stay solid, stick to his game plan, not really make any mistakes at all. He has to be very careful for that lead hook. He also should be watching out for leg kicks, honestly, because Usman has god-awful knees. He doesn't do any road work for his fights because he can't run because his knees are that bad. And we were wondering, well, why doesn't anyone ever kick his legs? Well, it's the same thing with like the Habib and Gaethje fight. When someone throws that leg kick, like when Gaethje threw that leg kick, Habib caught it and that's what he used to take Gaethje down and pretty much submit him. Most opponents before probably didn't want to throw any leg kicks because they didn't want Usman to catch it, especially with those long arms and catch it, pull it up for a single leg and bring him down and then they're pretty much screwed. But this fight with Burns, because Burns is so dangerous on the ground and he's so dangerous on the feet, I really don't think that, I don't think Burns is going to hold back at all. I think he's going to be throwing power with his hands. I think he's going to be chopping down at Usman's legs. And if the fight goes to the ground, oh well, he doesn't probably, he probably doesn't care because he's so decorated and so good on the ground. I really think that Burns is dangerous anywhere this fight goes. 
Um, my stomach is really telling me to go with Burns, and I think I'm going to go with Burns. I think if Usman wins this fight, I really think it's going to say a lot about the fighter that Usman is. I think it's going to be a very big legacy fight for Usman. Honestly, after this, I don't know who could really beat Usman. Maybe Leon Edwards, but if Leon Edwards doesn't beat him, I don't know who's going to beat Usman, because Usman's pretty solid. And uh, I think this fight says a lot about Usman's career and uh, what kind of fighter he is if he does pull away with this. However, I think I'm going to stick with Burns. I really think just Burns is dangerous anywhere the fight goes. On the feet, he's just more hes more dangerous in terms of his power and speed. Usman is more well-rounded, but I think Burns probably poses more of a threat. And then when the fight goes to the ground, I think it's really a toss-up. I think if Usman has good submission defense, he could probably hold Burns down and be able to... Uh, be able to put some ground and pound on him, um, but you saw in the Maya fight every time that Maya took Burns down, Burns always found a way back up. I think it's going to be tough for Usman to be able to hold Burns down, and even if he gets him to the ground, he's got to watch out for submissions. I don't know, that's just my thoughts on the fight. I really think this is a lot closer of a fight than what people are making out to be, and definitely way bigger of a fight than what people are hyping up to be. Um, I'm going to be watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below what you guys' predictions are, who you guys think is going to win. Um, and if you guys have any ideas, video suggestions, things you guys want to see me do, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please, please share my video. Send it to someone else you know that watches these fights that's really big into this kind of stuff. I would greatly appreciate it if you sent my video the way it really helps me grow this channel and it really, really mean a lot to me. But like I said, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, I will catch you guys later.